Have you asked God for something and he said no? Did you feel disappointed? Maybe it was one of God's divine disappointments. We know that we can ask God for anything and he will answer and provide it if it is according to his will. And when God tells us no, it can actually cause us frustration. Frustration in the fact that we know God can give us what we're asking, but in his infinite wisdom, he chooses not to. I remember I wanted to buy this house. It had everything I wanted and everything I needed. It was in the perfect location, close to my children's school. It was just perfect. But God said no. A couple of years go by and the same house goes up for sale again. There I go. I want this house. There again, God said no. Nothing would go right for me to buy this house. So I let it go thinking it's just not the right time. A few more years go by, the same house goes up for sale. And this time, the house looked even better than the first time I ever saw it. There were additions made to the house, and the price did go up quite a bit, but I still wanted this house. And again, God said, no, nothing would go through the way I wanted it to. It just wasn't meant to be. This was one of those divine disappointments. So you know what I did? I did as the psalmist instructed in Psalm 142 too. I poured out my complaint before the Lord. And when I poured out my complaint to him, it did a couple of things for me. First, it allowed me to release my desire into his hands because he knows what's best for me. And I also had to be reminded of Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. I didn't understand why God kept saying no to this house, but I did trust the Lord that he knew what was best for me and where was best for me. Not getting the house that I wanted originally turned into the house that the Lord wanted me to have, and he provided the greatest blessing through that house because he knows best. If you're feeling disappointed by a decision that God has said no, do as the psalmist did in Psalm 62, 8. Trust in him at all times and pour out your heart before him. God is safe. You can trust him with the emotions of your disappointment. When you pour out the disappointment to the Lord, it'll make room for him to pour into you the peace that you need, that you can trust him with the plans that he has for you. And remember Isaiah 55, his ways and his thoughts simply are not ours. If you are feeling one of those divine disappointments from God, share it with the one who knows best so you can grow in the Lord and influence the world all around you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Goodbye.